Hello, my name is Kyle, and today we'll be learning how to wire an Autodesk Inventor. As you can see, I've already wired part of my hexapod drone. Now, to start off wiring, you're going to want to open up an assembly, as you can only wire in an assembly. You want to go to Environments, click on Cable and Harness, click OK, and wait for it to load. Now that it's loaded, you'll want to click on Create Segment. That's essentially going to create the starting point of your wire. Now, what we're going to normally want to do is click on a diameter of some sort that is going to start our wire point. So we're going to click on the servo over here and put it to this point. That's going to start the wire. Next, you're going to see this blue line with a yellow dot on the end. That's going to indicate where the wire is going to be going. Now, it's 2.54 millimeters away from whatever base it's touching. For flat bases like this, it will go 2.54 away from it. As for a circle, it will go 2.54 towards the center of the circle. Now, we want to click on this part right here. We're going to want to click over here close to the corner as we don't want it to go through it. We're going to want it to bend around the corner. So we're going to click right here. We're going to want to click here. here. Now essentially you're just creating the path of the wire. And you're going to want to, you're going to learn a little bit how to bend the wire more as you go along. So what we're going to do is also use orbit because there's sometimes hard to reach positions in Inventor that you can't just use using the blocks here. Now we're going to click over here. We're going to click here. Now it's just basically clicking on different planes. You don't really need to do too much. You want to click here. Then you want to click somewhere over here on the breadboard. I will say right here. Now, there is a problem with Inventor. We're not really sure what it is. But when you're making too much of a bend in when creating a segment, it won't create the wire. So we can reposition the wire after we create the wire, and that won't create an error. So let's click right over here because we want the wire to be in here. So we'll click a little bit far away from it, like right here. We're going to right click. We're going to click finish. Now it's going to create our wire. You can see it's pretty thick. So we don't really want it to be that size. What you're going to want to do is click on the center line right here that goes through the wire. We're going to want to click, right click on it, click harness properties. We're going to wait for that to load. It takes a little bit of time if you have a lot of wires in your uh, CAD model. Um, so I'm just going to wait a little bit. And now you're going to be brought to this screen here. It's going to show you lengths, adjusted lengths, and other information. You're not really going to need to know that right now. All we're going to need to know is the diameter. Currently, the diameter is 5.080. Now, to change this diameter, we can't just click on here. We have to click Calculate Size from Wire, so that we can alter the wire. We're going to want to click on that and then change it to, let's say, 1 millimeter. That's going to make it to the size of these wires over here. I want to click apply and that's going to automatically change the size of the wire. I want to click OK. And now we have our wire. Now, to reposition the wire, you want to click on one of these points over here. You want to right click on it and you want to click redefine the point. Now we can redefine where it is. So now we can actually put it into one of the holes. So now I do have a white texture over here, so it's going to be a little harder to see it. We're going to put it right over here into one of the slots. That's going to reposition it, and now the wire is going straight into it. Now you also might notice that the wire might not be going completely straight through. You're going to need to mess around with it, see where the best position is, because you are using nonlinear structures and kind of inorganic shapes. So we can also adjust this one. We'll redefine this point to point like right over here. And that might be a little bit closer than the other option. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Now that we have this here, we might see other problems like this that go through an object. Now we can also add points here. We'll right click on the line. Um, here we go. And uh, what we're going to do is click add points. We can click somewhere on the line. Now we can have a chance to move the location of this. Now it's going to move it over there. Now you're going to notice that this point is also uh, here, which is going to change where the wire is going. So you're going to want to Move as many wires as you need to position it into the most uh, wanted position. So we're going to also move this one to over here now. And now the wire is being passed to the proper location. So it's going to be going through here. Now it is going through on those servos. So what we can do again is add another point. Now one little issue is that when you are putting it onto a piece, if it is inside of an object, it will be harder to uh, click on it as it's 
in the object and you can't really find the uh, that as easily. So we're going to do it a little bit outside of it. We're going to click a redefine the point again, and then we're going to want to move it around. Also, we're going to want to add another point here. We're going to want to redefine this point again and redefine it to over here. Now you are going to mess around with it, but this is essentially how you use a wire system. That will be the end for this episode. Thank you for watching.